Welcome to Trade Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you a very profitable swing trading strategy and test it 100 times in a row so you guys can see how it performs over a series of trades. This one is perfect for the average person who wants something that they can realistically stick with and follow for the long run. Most strategies done on one hour time frame, 15 minute, five minute, you need so much time on the chart each day and the average person just can't manage that realistically in the long run. So this is going to be for people who want something that's more realistic. You only need to scan the market one time per day, takes 10 minutes and take your entries and you're done for the day. So obviously, you know, you can't expect as big of a return from a strategy like this in as short of a period of a time, but it's actually going to be more likely that you succeed with a strategy like this because it's realistic, it's rules-based, you can follow it um, in the long run and actually fit it into your routine, unlike with most other strategies out there. So um, the main concept is trading on the daily time frame, where you only need to scam once per day. But um, let's get into it. I'm going to break it down. But of course, first, don't forget to use the Bybit link down below to trade on the best cryptocurrency exchange where you get rebates on your limit orders. So by far the best crypto exchange, in my opinion, check out my link down below. Um, that way you can support my channel without spending any money and you get to trade on the best crypto exchange. But anyway, let's get into the strategy and the 100 tests. It's worth noting that with any strategy, it can be modified and made better. So I encourage people to take any strategy I show and make modifications to improve the results. It's also worth noting that you don't need to trade on the daily time frame. You can adjust and trade on lower time frames if that's what you want to do. If you want to get more trade signals in or theoretically make more money in a shorter period of time, you know. If you have the time of day that to do that, you can trade on a lower time frame as well. So this video is, you know, doesn't have to only be for people who want to trade on a daily time frame. Now time to get straight into the strategy and indicators being used here. First, I have the ATR indicator, which I think everyone knows default settings on that, which is 14 smoothing RMA. Then we have the Vu Manchu Cypher B plus divergences. So I'll quickly pop that up here. If you type in Vu Manchu, you will see it. And I have starred the one that I am using on the chart. I've gotten rid of quite a few things in the settings that aren't being used. So you can see that I just have the blue waves. I have the stochastic K over bot level three, buy and sell circles, plots background. So, you know, do what you need with it. You don't necessarily need to make it look just like mine, but um, I'm only going to be using these parts of it. So I got rid of the stuff I'm not using. Another thing with the Vu Manchu is that I've added two horizontal lines, one at the 95 level and one at the five level. Okay. So you can simply click up here, grab a horizontal line and pop it right on to the indicator and then change the coordinates of it to 95 and one to five. All right. Now with this strategy, you also have the 200 period EMA. And of course I'm on the daily time frame uh, on pound against the Japanese yen. All right. Now let's get into the step-by-step -step breakdown of the rules. Now here are the rules that I'm going to be testing. First, for a buy position, you need to have price over the 200 EMA when the trade is entered. Number two, the stochastic K needs to go under the five level, such as right here and here. The blue wave needs to cross up from below the zero line, such as here and here. And the money flow needs to be green when the trade is entered. Stop loss is placed 1.5 times the ATR value and the profit target is two times the risk. For trade management, you move the stop to break even at 1.5 times the risk. So for example, we see stochastic K goes down and below that five level. We see that the blue wave crosses up from below the zero line. Money flows in the green, price is over the 200 EMA, so that is a valid entry. Stop loss is 1.5 times the ATR, targeting two times the risk. And when it hits 1.5 times risk, that's when the stop gets moved to break even and you continue targeting that two times risk profit target. All right, so let's talk about how to take a short. 
Here are the rules for a sell position. Of course, price needs to be under the 200 EMA. Stochastic K goes over the 95 level. The blue wave crosses down from over the zero line. Money flow is red and the stop loss is placed 1.5 times the ATR value. Profit target at two times the risk and trade management is moving the stop to break even at 1.5 times the risk. Now, one thing that I wanted to mention here that um, isn't what I'm testing, but just a way that you could potentially improve the strategy or do some something a bit differently is adding in some divergence. So if you see divergence on the stochastic K, such as here, you see that we get a higher high on price and then a lower high on stochastic K, then you get only short entries after you see that bearish divergence and only long entries after bullish divergence. That could just be another criteria that you test out if you want to improve the results of the strategy potentially. But the basic rules are as I'm going to be testing it um, right here, you see that stochastic K goes um, above the 95. Then we get that cross down on the blue waves from over the zero line. Money flows in the red under the 200 EMA and stop loss 1.5 times the ATR targeting two times the risk. Stop would be moved to break even once price goes um, 1.5 times the risk. Okay, so right there, stop goes to break even and continue targeting two times the risk. All right, so now into the 100 tests and the results will be all at the end. All right, the results are in after the 100 trades and they are really good. So I'm gonna break it down more in depth on this one because I know a lot of new traders will see these results and instantly think that they're terrible just because of how long it took to get the 100 trade signals. But I'm gonna convince you that you should be trading this way, especially if you're a normal person who has a full-time job and doesn't have time to spend on the charts all day. And I'm also gonna convince you that these are significant significant returns that you can get trading this way with barely any time spent on a daily basis. So let's get into it. The market's tested here. We're pound against the Japanese yen and just a tiny bit on euro against the US dollar just because I ran out of price data. The risk reward ratio used was one to two where the stop was moved to break even at 1.5 times the risk. The time frame tested on was daily and it took four 100 signals 16 years of price data. So it did take quite some time for those 100 signals, but don't worry, I'm going to explain why this doesn't matter and um, why it's actually still a fantastic gain and how you can grow an account extremely fast using a strategy like this, even though it took 16 years for 100 trade signals. So there were 46 winners, break-even trades were five and the losses were 49. The most wins in a row was four and the most losses in a row was four. The gain on the account was 43%, which is extremely good. So uh, let's head over to the right lower hand corner of the screen here and break down why these results are actually so good. So remember, this was tested on one pair, only risking 1% per trade. If you risk 2% per trade, that gain on the account figure doubles up to 86%. Now, if we break it down a little further um, into kind of an annual return, the average annual return from this one pair would be just 2.68%, which doesn't seem like very much if you're risking 1%. If you risk 2% per trade, then we have 5.375% annually for one pair. So if you trade 10 pairs, then we can multiply it by 10. So 53.75% annually with barely any work being put in. So hopefully this kind of puts it into perspective for you. Um, if you're trading multiple pairs, the more the better, um, then you're going to have that annual gain on your account figure be much higher. So even on a daily time frame where you're barely putting in any work, takes 10 minutes a day to scan for entries, um, you can still return a significant amount. And this is the most realistic way for most people to trade. 
So, you know, almost no one makes 50% plus annually. That's extremely rare, incredibly rare. Um, and this is actually unrealistic, 50% plus annually. Um, but it does demonstrate the potential of a strategy like this and trading on a daily time frame. So don't disregard something like this when you see that it has 16 years for 100 trade signals. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I, d I just hope I don't see any comments saying, OMG, 16 years, this sucks so much. While, you know, that person is probably negative 50% in the last month trying to scalp on a one minute chart. So um, that's just the reality of it. Um, the type of people who would say that and not understand um, th these figures, they're thinking unrealistically and they're probably a massively losing trader themselves. Um, so. Let's actually move on to the spreadsheet and compare it to some of the other results. This one did pretty well. Here it is on the spreadsheet compared against the 69 strategies that I've tested so far on this channel. There's actually a few more that I've tested and not put on the spreadsheet due to them being tested on paid indicators. So tons of strategies tested at this point, and this one still falls in the top 20 at spot number 16, 43% gain on the account. So doing extremely well. And again, 16 years doesn't matter. If you're trading many pairs, you can trade multiple stocks, many Forex pairs, cryptocurrencies, and the more that you trade, you're going to be able to pull a larger gain on account theoretically. So don't discount it just because it's on a daily time frame and it doesn't give tons of signals when you're only trading one pair. This is actually the best way to trade for the average person who doesn't have enough time to spend on the charts each day. You're probably a lot more likely to be profitable and make money in the long run trading with this strategy than you are with any of the five minute, one minute, three minute chart strategies. So I would recommend this to anyone who actually has a normal life, who can't spend hours on the charts every single day. All right, so in conclusion, nice strategy and great result out of this one of course i always encourage people modifying the strategies that i show on the channel it's only being tested 100 times so any strategy needs to be tested thousands of times in order to prove its long-term effectiveness but these 100 test videos are a great starting point and really a great way to show you what is promising and what's worth it what's worth looking farther into okay so that's going to conclude this video don't forget to check out my second channel and subscribe to it um, if you want to see a day in the life video and also use my bybit link sign up for bybit if you want to trade on the best crypto exchange thank you very much have a nice day